this means core. Hey everyone, it's me, The Lunchbox, here in the flesh and ready to discuss James Woods. So, he decided to tweet this photo of the mosque shooter with me in the background with the word war written above it. So when I saw that, I was obviously disgusted, but I was also like, well, here we go. He wants to go to war, Clor, as I call it. I was disgusted and horrified that he would use such a tragedy though to um, incite anger in me, but I didn't let it get to me. I just, I breathed in and out and I focused my center because I was like, I'm not going to embarrass myself. I'm not gonna make myself look like a damn fool. If he wants to act like a child, he can act like a child. However, I then saw that he supposedly did not know who that was and then I read his follow-up tweets, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen by now, and I posted it myself on the page. After that, I was like, you know, perhaps he has realized that it's better to fight this war with words, kind words, as opposed to being aggressive and racist like a few other people who are on his side of the political spectrum. And when I saw that, I was like, I'm glad that I didn't say anything about that terrible photo that he tweeted, but he did not know, he claims he did not know who it was, and I believe him. He seems like someone who isn't shy to speak the truth, and I admire that. I really do. I don't agree with his beliefs, but I do admire people who stick to their word, and I do believe him that he did not know who that was, so I forgive you for that one, James. Uh, would I be interested in speaking with him someday, perhaps? Yes, I would. I'm not on Twitter. I just don't really get it. I, I'm not a tweeter. I don't tweet. So yes, aside from that, um, I do feel like that was an example of disagreeing with someone who you have, you know, difference of opinion with, but in a way that is polite and not aggressive or hostile. I will admit that perhaps I was a tad bit hysterical when I made that video about Clepe, but I mean, I'm just tired. I'm tired of the divisiveness and the racism. It angers me, it does. And keep in mind, I didn't call, I didn't mock anyone for their race in that video. I did not say one negative word about white people. I said I'm done with white supremacy, which is what I believe Pepe slash Clepe now used to stand for. And instead of saying, you know, ma'am, you're incorrect. We just think it's a fun meme and we are not racist people. You know what they did to to prove how not racist they are, they littered the comment section with racism. Racist messages, racist comments, threats, which I have reported to the police. But I just find that interesting how you all claim that I'm crazy and hysterical for declaring that it's racist. And in order to combat what I'm saying, you come at me with racist memes, racist comments. It just doesn't really make much sense. I don't think you're doing yourself any favors. Again, I might have been a bit emotional in my video. I'm an emotional person. That is just who I am. But I didn't make fun of anyone for being white. I didn't say anything negative about white people. I didn't say that they're inferior or bad or, or that they're all monsters. I just said I'm tired of this group of people, the alt-right, being racist and using this adorable frog to do so. That was my issue. Anyway, um, I just want to remind you all that Clepe belongs to me. This is not over. Uh, he is a symbol of love and truth, <sighs> diversity, LGBT, um, drag queens, whatever. You know, he is a symbol of being who you are. So those of you out there who feel down and feel like you're not accepted by people who still wanna live back in the 50s, just remember, Clepe stands with you. He loves you no matter what color you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what religion you are, no matter what creed, any of that. Clepe clubs you from the bottom of his clart. So to those of you who are angry that I took Clepe back, please just get over it. It's done. I'm starting a movement. Clown oppression, 
I'm on my way to ending that. And thank you to all of you for um, helping me push that forward by giving me so much attention. A lot of it was negative. I do think you need to tone down calling me a man because I've made it quite clear that I'm a woman. I don't really see how I look like a man. I mean, it's a haircut, get over it. Women are bald now. I don't think it's that radical that I have this haircut. So that's a little annoying. Um, you could lighten up on the inward, you know, but maybe not. Maybe just continue proving my point that you are racist people. The people who tend to associate themselves with the alt-right, who tend to post pepe slash clepe memes in the past, you people tend to be racist. And I hope that you can grow out of that someday and realize that it's not cute acting like a 14 year old when you're about the age of 25 and up and a lot of you are around that age. It's, it's a bad look. And if you're wondering why you're single or unhappy, take a look in the mirror. If you've been leaving me some of these really juvenile comments, that's probably why no one wants to associate with you. Just taking a shot in the dark. But anyway, um, also people keep telling me to take the red pill. I don't know exactly what that means. I've read a little bit about it in the past. I feel like it has to do something with men who can't get dates or something. I don't know, but I'm not interested in conforming to your beliefs. I am who I am. If that means that if everyone else in the world took this pill and decided to join you in your beliefs, I would still be me, little lunchbox, because I will never conform. I will never be what you want me to be. I will always be my happy self with Clefe by my side. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I hope that that communication with between James Woods and I, even if it ends there, I hope that that teaches you all that that's how you should speak to, to one another. He was mocking me at first, he admitted, but he came around rather quickly because he actually listened to what I was saying and he admired my passion. Good for him. And I hope that you all can learn from him, that you don't have to be so aggressive and immature in your words and memes and all that. You know, he's a grown ass man. So maybe take a tip from him and try to be a grown up yourself. Have a class day. Don't let the claters get you down. Remember, Klepe loves you all, especially those of you who are gay, trans, people of color. He loves you and he supports you and he knows that you're trying your best, you want to be the best you you can be, and he supports those of you who do not fit that mold, those of you who are more accepted in society, those of you who call people like me degenerates. Clefe does support you, but he doesn't support your racism. All right, have a good one. And remember, as long as you want it to continue, this war is still on, but it's kind of a fruitless battle because I think I've put my mark on Clefe and I don't think it's, it's going to change. Not in my heart anyway. And that's all that matters. Bye.